All right, so we're gonna go over the trades from today. Uh, you know, I had a great day yesterday and another solid day today. This was um, just to look at yesterday here. So uh, yesterday was a just over ten thousand dollar green day. You know, which was nice because I had that red day last Tuesday, and then I had two smaller green days. You know, it was sort of like halfway to recouping that loss, and then I had a nice day on Friday. 7,300, a nice day on Monday. And now today I'm sitting at 9,360 bucks. So in three days, that's $25,000, $26,000, right? So, you know, I mean, this is the thing with, I, I didn't see it coming. I didn't know that we were gonna have some hot momentum these last three days. It just, you know, it just happened. And I was here to sort of, you know, ride the, the waves of momentum and capitalize on it a little bit. So BXRX this morning was our uh, leading gapper. Uh, of course, as always, I find all my um, ideas, all the stocks I'm trading on the custom scans, day trade dash software. Um, so you guys are, of course, um, all the Warrior members, you have access to day trade dash as part of your Warrior membership. Uh, but some people will go and subscribe uh, just to the scanners at day trade dash. Uh, you, you could type in .com, it'll redirect you to... Uh, to AI. Anyway, so um, so this morning, my day started on the early side. Uh, my first trade was on GROM, and I took a lot of trades today. So I'm going to have some commissions, um, but you know, no big deal. It's um, it, it's it's certainly worth it. So my first trade was around 7:30 on GROM. So GROM, this one. Uh, Get, was gapping up well let's see so this is the top gainers scanner so this is continuing to update as the day goes on if i look at uh top gappers this is showing the gap position so this is just showing basically you know exactly how we were gapping uh which you know sometimes they change so grom gapped up 45 percent, but then sold off as we got closer um to the open so you can actually sort this by gap if you want but anyway so um so i'll just close that so um so the first one was uh bx was a grom so grom around 7 30 you know this stock started squeezing up um early seven up to at 7 a.m up to 307 it pulled back and uh, right here at 7 30 we got a really nice first five minute candle to make a new high and that was my trade i took that trade right there and that was a, a green trade, uh, not a big winner, but a green trade on my first trade on it. Uh, I then got back in, uh, traded on the move up to 315. We got a five minute pullback, got back in for the break of 315. We got to move up to 350. And then right here, I was a little cautious because I was like, you know what? We've already had our first pullback and our second pullback. Sometimes third pullback gets a little risky, but we ended up getting a nice breakout there. And I traded the a break over um, 61. So it pops up right here. And I was like, okay, if this thing wants to keep going, you know, let's see what it wants to do. So I got in at 61 and we got that move there up, uh, which was really impressive up to a high of 422. Reverse came back down and that marked the high day. I wasn't super surprised that that marked the high day because it was a, a shooting star candle. It's a reversal indicator and it didn't, it in fact was a correct indication there. So that was GROM. We got some trades on it pre-market and then it kind of died and, and that was it. Uh, the next trade was on PYPD. So PYPD, um, if we look at the gap scan here, this one was gapping up um, about 26%. It's a lower price stock. Uh, and right here, squeezed up at 7.30, news comes out and it rips. So on this one, I got in at about $1.55. I saw this one on the scanners as it was popping up and added for the break of two. Uh, ended up making 200 on it, small winner. Uh, added back and got a nice scalp on it um, with about $1,100 of profit. I was kind of impressed. I was like, wow, that, that's not bad. So it did reject that $2 level on its first attempt, but then it came right back up. Look at this right back up there to two. So, you know, that was good, but 
we saw some big sellers come out pretty early. 40,000 share seller on the ask at 190. It broke through it, but there was a lot of selling. So this ends up being a red candle on the day. Uh, you know, it gapped up and then has sold into the gap. So sometimes that happens. Got a, you know, a couple small trades on it. And then we had BXRX. So BXRX ended up being the biggest winner today. And news came out at 8 a.m. It pops up. Um, it's noteworthy that it's got a very low float. So the number of shares outstanding, very low. And right now we've got 27, 28 million shares of volume, which in terms of float rotation is pretty crazy. We got uh, first this initial pop up to 450. And I actually, um, I had a couple trades on it. My first trade was at 395 on this uh, candle here at eight. I made about $150 on that trade. And then I added back right here for the breakthrough 450 and I gave back what I had made on it. And I was down like 60 bucks. So it wasn't um, it wasn't huge, but you know I was like, huh, that was weird. So then it comes back up again, uh, and this time I was a little nervous around five a uh, four fifty, uh, but we ended up getting a break of four fifty, and it squeezed up to four seventy seven, and I did take that trade with smaller size. My entry was four forty five or four fifty. We got the move there up to four fifty four seventy seven, little pullback, and then up to four eighty seven, a dip, and then then it started to pull away. We got to move here up to four, uh, up to 550. Resistance at 550, it pulls back. And then it came here rallying back up. And I didn't expect it to break through. I thought it was going to come back up here and double top. Because this was a pretty, you know, it was a pretty decent sell-off. And we, I did take the first five-minute candle to make a new high. So that was an entry over 492. And I was happy with the trade, but I didn't expect it to go that high. So took profit sort of on the early side on it, and it ended up going a little higher without me, but that's okay. Uh, then we got a micro pullback through this area, a move up to 616, uh, a squeeze up to 445, a dip back down, a squeeze up to the halt, a resumption, a move up to four, uh, sorry, to 689, and then uh, a halt down. Bought at 601 on the halt down. Uh, it thinned out. So it, it was halting down and it was like stacked at 601 and then it started to thin out. I bought at 601, it pops up to 604 and then it went right back down to 601 and it halted down. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I've only got a thousand shares. Let me hold this in the halt and let's see what it does. I can either add at like 580, bring my average down to 590 and maybe get a pop back up to six and make 100, 200 bucks. Or if it opens higher, I could get a nice move and it ended up opening at 610. I added 1,500 shares at 610, which gave me 2,500 shares, about 606. It squeezes up to 625. I took it off the table, and I was happy with that. And that, that ended up being um, my last trade there. So, you know, it's 10 a.m., and I'm locking up another green day. Right now, I'm definitely still in the mentality of take the profit and run. I feel like this is a little bit of a hit-and-run market. Get green, get out, get green, get out. Obviously, on days where... I'm feeling it and I'm doing well. I want to trade a little longer. And I did trade a little longer yesterday and today. And it was definitely worth it that I did because I added a little bit more profit. But, you know, having said that, I don't want to overstay my welcome. It's still early in the year. It's towards getting towards the end of January, but still early in the year. I have to kind of, you know, keep my head down, kind of grind on, you know, just these five, eight, ten thousand dollar days until I've you know, put away $100,000 of profit on the year. And once I've sort of hit that first milestone of 100K, you know, then I can maybe start to take a little bit more risk, get myself up to 200K, 250, and, you know, 500K is uh, the next kind of uh, big line in the sand. Uh, and, I, I, you know, anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Just trying to be consistent, trying to be green and take the money when it feels like things are cooling off a little bit. So $9,360.91, that's about as uh, much as I could uh, get today. I sort of felt at one point on BXRX, I was up 2,500 on the day and I was up only 600 on it. And I was like, man, it's moved a lot and I haven't really made that much money on it. And that was after I had gone from being up 3,000 to giving back 500. And I, I started to feel a little frustrated. I told myself right then, I was like, you know what? 
$600 is really good money on the stock. $2,500 on the day is really good. And if you're going to lose appreciation for that, that's when you're going to go red. These $2,500 days add up. You know, $2,500 per day average is $500,000 plus a year. So, uh, you know, keep your head down and, and, and keep trading. Stay focused. So, anyways, I, I was able to talk myself out of feeling a little disappointed there pretty quickly, which is good. But, uh, anyway, so that's it for me. Reminder, as always, my results aren't typical, and there's no guarantee you'll find success. Whether you trade on your own or you learn from me, so make sure you manage your risk and practice in a simulator before you put real money on the line. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for on YouTube for the next recap.